Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN. My name is Dion. If this is your first time here, welcome and thank you for being here. If you have been here before, thank you for coming back. This video is, oh my gosh, my lips are like, I can always tell when winter's coming because my skin and my lips get very dry. This is, this is very thick, that's what it is. <laughs> this is the Aguava Lip Balm. I don't really care for it, but I need it right now. My lips are really dry. This video is going to be um, makeup therapy, as the title says. I know my thumb is, I meant to point upward, so I should probably go like that. And But then my fingers crooked too. So this is the crazy in TCTN, which is the crazy troll nation <laughs> of YouTube. Um, today is going to be retail therapy, makeup therapy, not retail therapy. I'm going to plan makeup just to kind of give myself something to do because I'm a little sad and emotional right now. And I went to see my mother today. Um, for those of you who don't know, which is probably most of you, <laughs> she's in a nursing home and she has dementia. And it's to the point where she knows my face and she knows I'm a familiar face, but she doesn't know I'm her daughter. And when I went today, this is probably going to be TMI. When I went today to pick her up, she was sitting there wet. And I'm like, ugh. So that's something new, um, the incontinence. And so that, that kind of hit me really hard, like, wow. And she has to be handheld. Like, if you say, okay, come here and sit down, she'll just stand there. So you have to, like, take her hand and lead her to the chair and then point at the chair and be, like, sit in the chair. So she's very much probably, like, maybe a five-year-old or younger. <laughs> I'm not sure because I don't have children. But it, it was just very emotional for me. So what we're going to do today is I feel like I'm yelling. I have been drinking Mountain Dew today. I do already have on my base face. I did that before I left this morning. Uh, what do I have? The Micro Grip. It's not the Micro Grip. The Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, Sephora Bright Futures Gel Serum Concealer. And 11.5 Butterscotch. The Cover FX Power Play Foundation in G60. I set that with um, the Hourglass Setting Powder, and then I lightly dusted on the perimeter of my face the Fenty Cashew Setting Powder. And for bronzer, I used the Fenty Bajan Gal, Beijing Gal, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, on the perimeter and a little bit on my cheeks. And I used um, her Car Caramel Cutie just in the hollows of my cheeks. And then I used the middle shade and the Tan to Deep um, Alamar Blush Palette that we received in Poxy Charm months and months ago and so that is everything on my face except for this which you saw me put on so what i'm going to do this is a box of um subscription box stuff that i received that i have not used yet so i'm going to take out what i'm not going to well i'll show you what's in here the i don't have my reading glasses on it right here in front of me <laughs> there's some kind of cream <laughs> we just received it and either BoxyCharm or Ipsy, because I now get them both, and so I get confused on what came with what, and some of this came off, what came out. I can tell you now this video is going to be long, so please excuse me. But yeah, I'm going to put my reading glasses on so I can read what this stuff is. So it says, oh, this is the Touch, touch and Soul Glassy Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. So that's what this is we're not going to use. Also, that's in here. Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask by Dr. Brandt. So we're going to set that aside. There is, you know, I think I'm going to put this powder on because as you can see, I am, and my T-zone does get oily. And so that's what's happening there. And I do sweat very easily. And I think it's like 70 something degrees today, low 70s. So we're going to use the, the Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. And I didn't bring a powder brush, but I do have a brush I can use. I bring my eye brushes, and, but there is a brush I'm looking at in here, a couple of them that I can use for powder brushes. So we're going to try that today. And there are three eyeliners in here. There is a Hank and Henry eyeliner, and none of them are open yet. There's the Black Magic Liquid Liner plus Wide Lash. Okay, this pops open, so we're probably going to use that one. This one has a cellophane thing that might take me more than more time than I want to open. Or the Betty Boop one, which did just open as well. So maybe I'll use this on one eye and the other one on the other eye. And the other things in here is the Ofra Madison Miller um, Cheek, what is it? Cheek Face Palette, it says. 
as I said, I do have one bronzer and blush. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use a bronzer or a blush. We also have in here the Lovecraft Beauty blush palette. And that is what this looks like. Let me see what those colors look like in comparison to the Wanda Beauty. I am like so awkward. So these are the color differences. But this one has a highlighter in it, which is over here. So I might use this one only because it has a highlighter, even though I normally don't highlight. But just to see what it does. I have stuff everywhere. And there's three eyeshadow palettes in here. The Essentials Violet Voss. Um, that was replaced because the one I initially received, the Emerald, which is the green, was cracked. So I kind of want to use this one, which I think I am. The other palette in here is the Dose of Colors Baked Browns. I tend to not open things until I use them, which is why everything is still in the boxes. So that's what this one is looking like. This one, I think I'll wait to use because it is really basic. And so I kind of want to do some color. Since this is makeup therapy, it needs to be a little bit colorful, right? And the last thing in the box is the Wander Beauty Wondrous Seascape Eyeshadow Palette. So I'm getting all of these palettes. And next month, I think... In BoxyCharm, I think there's going to be um, a palette. So this is what that one looks like. So, what we're going to use today, I am going to use, I'm going to put on the Ciate London setting powder. And I'm going to use the Ofra Madison Miller blush palette. I don't have, I have a brush I can use, even though these aren't face brushes, but I will double them up. I have my Fenty Eye Primer here, and we are going to get into the, um, the Violet Voss Essentials Palette. So I'm going to take off my glasses since I am done reading, and we will see what this stuff does. So for this powder, there's a plastic cellophane thing on here, and I don't see where you pull it. Shoot. And my nails are nubby, so I'm like, okay, I got it. I think, yeah. Only half of it came off. Was it supposed to do only half? I don't think so. No, it wasn't supposed to do half. Why did it just... Okay, there's the other. Oh, you know, they had a tab, and I pulled it where it wasn't the tab. So I'm going to dump some upside down in the lid. Oh, my, a lot came out. I am going to use this brush here. This is a Luxie brush. It says contour cheek bronzer, but I'm going to dip it. There is like, oh my gosh. It is still, I don't know if you can see it tapping off into the lid. <laughs> I might have to go get um another brush. It is translucent, which is awesome. I hear kids outside. It is translucent, which is good. Hopefully it won't change. Woo! Everywhere. Oh. The color of my concealer. Or under my... Alright, this has a scent to it, because now I'm smelling something. It is like everywhere! It's good to know. And I know I just said it like three times, but it's good to know that this really is translucent. Because sometimes um, powders say they're translucent and they're really not. This, I'm liking how it feels. It doesn't feel like anything. The scent is kind of throwing me off because I didn't expect it to have a scent. Now I'm trying to get it back into the container without making more of a mess than I already made. <laughs> This is just a leftover on the brush because I have powder spilt. All right, so the shine is gone, so that's good. I'll be shiny again soon because I, I just sweat a lot. All right, so I'm going to lay a, a washcloth right here to try to catch some of my mess. What was I going to do next? I'm going to use this highlight palette. This highlight blush palette and... 
This is an all over eye shade brush, but I'm wondering if I could should use it for this blush, but I'm going to just keep using this one. And this is a contour cheek brush, and so it shouldn't have been in my eyeshadow brush container. Anyway, if you guys want to see all of my brushes, let me know. And I have another one of these with all of my face brushes, meaning my foundation, um, concealer brushes, and powder brushes. So we're going to take this shade here. I am not really a highlight person. I'm just dipping it in. Okay. I realize I don't I realize that I'm not a highlight person. Um I do like how it looks, but sometimes it does show up nicely. Sometimes because I have discoloration under my eyes and because it's it's it widens as my eye goes over because it starts small here and then it goes to here. Like everywhere you see this line, this is where the discoloration is. And so when I highlight here, sometimes it makes my under eyes look darker because wherever you put light it accentuates and so it makes it look more hollow in here and so that's why I stopped highlighting because highlighting here made this look darker and I know I just said that like three times so please forgive me I do like how it shows up um, I'm only doing this just for the sake of the video because as I said I don't highlight <laughs> but for those of you who <laughs> like this as I said I'm a G60 in the Cover effects, power play. I'm between, depending on the level of tan that I have, I'm an NC42, NC43, or NC45 in MAC. In Makeup Forever, I can go from the Y385 all the way up to the Y425, depending on where my tan is. And so if you're around those shades, and the Anastasia, I am a 355N, so thank you, Kinky Sweat, because she wears the, the G60 and cover effects and so I watch her videos for foundation because then I know what if it matches her it'll match me and so and I did try the foundation didn't like it I digress so if you're around my shade this is what it will look like on you so I'm just going to I have a rag I was gonna wipe it on my hand but I do have a washcloth here so I'm gonna wipe this brush off and I'm gonna dip into this middle shade and put this blush on I like the blush. I like this color. Even though I did already have blush on, I am still seeing this color. And I think because I put the powder on, so the powder kind of took away some of the color. I'm only using swirling motions because the brush is so small. Because usually with a bigger brush, I just swipe. But because this brush is tiny for my big cheeks, that's why I'm going in circles. I never put my blush on this way. Never, never. And it never, never is even. <laughs> so that's the color of the blush. And I, I feel like I'm looking like a clown right now. So that is that. If I was a highlight person, I would do that again. But I'm not, so I won't. So, <laughs> so I'm going to take off the excess oil. You know what? I didn't bring um, my eyebrow pencil over here. And that's okay. So this is the Fenty Eyeshadow Primer, which I like. It is a tacky primer. I don't mind it. I actually like it. But I do have to be careful sometimes with um, how I place shadow in my crease. Like instead of just going straight over, I'll dot it in. But you'll see how I do it. So the primer's on. I'm going to... This is the, uh, oh, almost dropped it. The Luxie Large Shader Brush. This came in BoxyCharm or something. I don't like getting my hands messy when I'm doing my makeup. And so I use the brushes to blend out my primer for my face. And that's why also I don't use my fingers to apply shadow because I don't like my hands being messy. I look like a clown with this blush on. I'm, I'm wondering if I should put on more powder to kind of tone that down.
Okay, I like that better. I am liking this powder. I have setting powders that I really like already. The Hourglass is my favorite, hands down. I like the Becca ref refreshing one because it just feels really cooling when you first put it on. Um, but I don't find myself reaching for it. Okay, I like that better. Um, what is it? Oh, the Lancome Long Time No Shine Powder. That for me, I use equally as much as the Hourglass. So those are my two go-tos. Okay, so I have the primer on my eyes. So we're going to go into this Essentials Palette, the Violet Voss. And I'm going to take sand, this shade here. And I'm going to use this all over brush because I'm going to just literally place this all over my entire lid. Picked up the color nicely. Missing a little with my inner corner. And I do have some discoloration in my inner corner. This is smoothing out nicely over the Fenty primer. So if I don't do a highlight, I kind of already have one. It's just not a bright one. A brow highlight I'm talking about. Because I have this all over. There is just a tiny bit of kickback, but it may be the way I used uh, the, the way I swiped the brush in the pan. I'm trying to figure out which brush I'm going to use. This is a brush from Luxie. Uh, I don't know what, it's, what does this. I don't have my reading glasses on. This is a crease brush. I'm going to take, hmm. You know, I'm not going to do that yet. I want to do a lid color first. Real Techniques brush. I love these brushes. The Instapop brushes because they're slanted and you can get the color right where you want it. I'm looking to see what the name is on here. And of course, I'm not able to see it. But this is what it looks like. I am going to I'm going to take the emerald even though I'm a little crazy with this shirt on. You know what I'm not. I'm going to take this purple right here. And this shade is Plum Beauty. I love how these brushes pick up shadow. So we're going to put this on, oh my, should I not have put the other color all over my lid? Is this showing up? You know, this does have a mirror that I can use, but then I have a mirror right here in front of me too that I'm looking down into. Taking the cellophane off of here. All right, so I'm dipping again into, and I am using a mirror from the palette. Maybe I'll do a different look on each eye. I see some people do that. And maybe I will do that. And sometimes because I have a slightly hooded eye, because I have all this extra skin, I'll bring my lid color up over the crease a little bit. Above where my crease is. So that way when I'm looking right at you, you, you will still get a glimpse of the color that's on my lid. All right, so I'm going to wipe that off on this towel that's here. And I'm going to go into this shade here, which says pink. And I'm going to put that on the first half of my lid. Picks up the color nicely. You saw me great go on my other eye, right? This one seems almost to be a non-color on me. Hmm. Dipping back into it. Picking it above the crease a little bit like I did the purple color. Plum berry color. Blending the two together in the middle. Okay, that is kind of like a non-color. It's very neutral. Okay, so now I'm going to take the blending brush. And I'm going to go into this shade right here which is cinnamon, and I'm going to dip the brush and I'm going to go up just on the outer skirts of that plum and the pink. And that's how we're going to do that. This is a long video. 
Makeup therapy, welcome. And so that's it for that eye. And this doesn't seem like, this doesn't really seem like a color either. But it did, it did blend out the other two colors nicely. But that's like a non-color on me. Hmm, it's interesting because it looks darker in the pan. I am able to build it up though, so that's good. I will continue to use this palette. So far it seems like these colors are easy to work with, but they don't seem to be as vibrant as they are in a pan. Okay, so I'm going to, I actually have two of these brushes, the one I use for my lids. So I'm gonna take the other one and I am going to, hmm. I'm gonna take this black. That's what I'm gonna do. It matches my mood today. Picks up color really nicely, these brushes. And I'm gonna put this on my lid. And we're gonna smoke it out with that green. And we're gonna see what it does. Going back into that black, which the shade is called black. Huh. It's like pink is called pink. Black is called black. And I do this to go above the crease, which also does kind of blend the color out. And it's looking a little patchy right here in this area. And I'm losing color in this area right here. Did I just hit my nose? I did hit my nose. Going back in with the black. To build up that color in my inner corner. Seems a little lacking. Okay, and I'm going to, do I have another one of those blending brushes? If not one like it, I definitely have other ones. I'm going to take, I want a thin blending brush, not a really, really fluffy one. This is a Sephora blending brush I've had for like forever. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna go into this green, which is emerald, and I'm going to go on the out, skirts of that black this is gonna look crazy I'm liking this green maybe I should have taken a fluffier brush are you guys able to see what I'm doing as if I can hear you I'm adding a little more pressure because I want this to blend and show up. I think that's pretty. I mean, the green color is pretty. I don't know about trying to smoke out the black with it. Cause... But I'm liking how you can peek, how the green is peeking above that black. But other than that, I think it's looking a little crazy. <laughs> so we're going to go back with this color. And... <laughs> Back into this shade here, which is cinnamon, <laughs> and we're going to <laughs> put this on top, the top edge of the green, just to kind of tone it down just a little bit, since it is kind of like a non-color, just so, just so I won't have just that bright, shimmery green there. I am looking crazy, and my brows are going to be left undone because I didn't bring my brow pencil. So I'm gonna take a domed shadow brush and am I? No, I'm not. I don't know what brush this is. We got it in BoxyCharm or something and it's just a small little brush that I enjoy using for colors under my lower lash line. So I'm going in with Plumberry and I'm gonna put that under this flash line. I will continue to play around with this palette because I do like the colors. They are easy to work with. I didn't even bring any um, eyeliners for my inner room out here. I'm wiping this brush off because I'm going to go in with um, the emerald under my lower lash line over here. Why is that not showing up on over here? 
for some reason, this is not wanting to really show up under my eye. It's like I see it, but I don't see it. It's like turning a weird color, like yellow or something. So this is what we have. <laughs> no, I am not a professional makeup artist. Did I use this brush? Yeah. So this is what this eye looks like. And this is what this eye looks like. So we're going to use Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner Plus Wide Lash on this eye. Very thin point, which is nice. It's not, it feels a little pokey. I've been using the Lorac Front of the Line Pro Liquid Liner for years. That was the first liquid eyeliner I was able to successfully use. And so I've continued using it all of these years, probably a good five years. And so every liquid liner I try, I compare it to that one because that's my go-to. So the color's nice. It goes on easy. I am able to do a thin line, which is great because I have extra skin up here. If I make the line too thick, and if I'm looking, if my head is down and I look up, I end up with eyeliner up here. <laughs> so that was the Black Magic. And we're going to use the Betty Boop, whatever this one is, Drawn to You Eyeliner. So we're going to try that on this eye, which you may be able to see. I don't know if I have on black liner. This one also goes on well. I can see the color. I don't know if you guys can see the color. I will continue to use both of these eyeliners. I might have a new go-to, I don't know. I'm one of those people that's loyal to a brand for, for no reason other than when I find something I like, I stick to it. And so that's what the eyeliners look like. And I do apologize again for not having my inner room liner out here and for not bringing my eyebrow pencil out here or any lip thing for that. But thank you for being with me on this video. If you have any questions, I know I'm looking crazy, right? If you have any questions about how I feel about this, by the time I upload it, I'll have probably played with this palette another two or three times. Um, just let me know and I will answer your questions. I wanna do real quick, cause I'm sitting here looking at myself. <laughs> I'm gonna take, um, and I normally don't do inner corner highlights, but I'm gonna take gold. That's this color here. They really named them for like how they look. Emerald, gold, pink, black. <laughs> they kept it simple. I'm going to bring that over just a little bit. Yeah, this is looking real crazy. And I'm going to take cream to do the, the other eye for inner corner. And bring that under just a little bit you know what i'm liking these looks better having done that i might start doing that so again this is this eye apologies again for not having inner rim eyeliner or mascara or my brows done <laughs> if you have this palette let me know and i hope if you haven't tried these looks if you like them that you try them if you do that let me know that too and thank you guys for watching and you'll see me in the next video bye